Airborne early warning and control aircraft are arguably the most critical intelligence asset in any modern air force. Often described as the eyes in the sky, these platforms provide a comprehensive real-time picture of the battle space, a capability that is absolutely non-negotiable for the defense of the UK and NATO. The core role of an AEW&C aircraft is to perform three essential functions simultaneously, detection, tracking, and coordination. Using powerful high-altitude radar, they can generate a 360-degree view of the airspace, detecting, tracking, and prioritizing air and maritime threats from ranges far exceeding ground-based radar systems. Once a threat is identified, the aircraft transforms into a mobile command and control center. The command team aboard directs defensive and offensive assets, like the Typhoon or the F-35, telling them where to intercept, ensuring seamless coordination of forces across vast areas. This capability has a long history in the RAF, dating back to platforms like the venerable Shackleton AEW Mark II, which, despite its age, performed a vital role in providing radar coverage for the fleet. However, modern threats demand a constant technological edge, which drives the current strategic shift in the RAF's AEW architecture. For three decades, the E3D Century AEW-1 served as the indispensable backbone of the RAF's long-range surveillance capability. Based on the robust Boeing 707 airframe, this aircraft was instantly recognizable by the huge, distinctive rotating radome mounted above its fuselage. The Sentry entered service in 1991 and quickly proved its worth, seeing extensive operational use across the globe. Its missions ranged from providing crucial battle space command during the Gulf Wars to supporting counter Daesh operations in the Middle East and ensuring maritime surveillance to protect the UK's interests. However, by the 2010s, the E3D fleet faced compounding issues. The airframes were aging, maintenance demands were escalating, and the mission computing technology was becoming increasingly obsolete when facing advanced high-speed threats. This led to a strategic decision to retire the Sentry from operational service in 2021. This necessitated a major capability shift. Although the UK has a planned replacement, the retirement created a temporary AEW capability gap. To cover this, the UK has been relying on the crucial support of the integrated NATO AEW and Sea Force and key allied partners to maintain constant radar vigilance, underscoring the importance of international cooperation in modern air defense. The future of the RAF's airborne surveillance capability is the Boeing E-7 Wedgetail AEW Mark I, a platform scheduled to enter service in 2026. The RAF is procuring three of these advanced aircraft based on the reliable next-generation 737 airframe. The key to the Wedgetail's immense capability upgrade is its revolutionary radar, the Multi-Role Electronically Scanned Array, or MISA radar. Unlike the older Sentry's rotating dome, the fixed electronically scanned MISA system can rapidly refresh its view and perform a stair function on specific high-priority targets. This is crucial for effectively tracking modern, high-speed, and supersonic threats. The E-7 is designed to act as a crucial node in the digital battle space. Its modern digital architecture enhances its role in multi-domain battle management, allowing it to seamlessly coordinate with and enhance the operational capability of platforms like the F-35B Lightning and the Queen Elizabeth class carriers. Scheduled to operate out of RAF Lossiemouth in Scotland, the E-7 will ensure continuous radar coverage over the North Atlantic and the High North. The new fleet will restore and significantly upgrade the UK's AEW capability, integrating directly into both national defense and the combined NATO air picture. The transition from the E-3D Sentry to the E-7 Wedgetail represents a crucial strategic modernization for the UK. It restores and significantly upgrades the Royal Air Force's ability to maintain constant surveillance, giving the nation a decisive technological edge in the air domain. The Wedgetail is not simply a replacement. It is a digital command hub built for the future of warfare. Its ability to seamlessly integrate with platforms like the F-35 and the UK Carrier Strike Group ensures that the RAF is ready to fight in highly contested and complex environments. Furthermore, the Wedgetail's selection by the RAF reinforces a key principle of modern defense, interoperability. With the platform already in service with close allies like Australia and South Korea, and selected by the U.S. Air Force, 
the UK will enjoy easier communication, shared resources, and better collaboration across NATO and trilateral alliances. Operating out of RAF Lossiemouth, the E-7 fleet guarantees that the digital eyes of the UK's air defense network will be watching the skies for decades to come. Confirming the UK's commitment to collective defense and maintaining air superiority. To stay informed on the UK's ongoing defense operations, strategic developments, and the crucial assets that underpin our security, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Defense Debrief.